Welcome to a video from the DigitalLifestyle.com. We've got a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is 16.241 for PC, Windows Insider on the fast ring. And they're work working towards getting all the final bugs finished in this fall creators update. There's a bug bash coming up. And um, this is the build that we're using for testing of that. So, what's new in this build? Well, Microsoft Callout 1 is being able to recover your pin and password from the lock screen. And... Um, I'm sure this is in the previous build, and I did try this, but it does mess with my screen recording software, so I can't actually show you that right now. But uh, there's a password reset option, or pin reset option, on the lock screen, and if you follow that, you can get through a little Cortana-driven wizard to do that. Uh, that's a good way of resetting your account if you've got a Microsoft account, rather than having to go to another machine to do it. But uh, I'm pretty sure that was in the previous build. Other changes called out in this build is an improvement to the acrylic background this is this translucent effect which you can see here if I open a web page and then open calculator you can see through it they said they've cleaned up the noise on that and improved that other changes to this build are improvements to task manager and the GPU monitor particularly gets a, a, a new a new some new options you can see the decoding and uh, the utilization of the GPU the 3d render and everything else so you could use this for troubleshooting or optimizing your system. Also, the process tab has been improved as well for things like Microsoft Edge. You can actually see what's going on in the background, so you can see what's causing your particular issue. If you've got a slowdown or whatever, you can you can work on that. Uh, mixed reality improvements. I can't show that because I've not got a mixed reality headset yet. Um, but there's a, a lot of improvements to that on this build, and to delivery optimization. And this is the way that you can deliver uh, updates either from a, a PC or through the internet. And there's actually an activity monitor now, so you can see how these um, have been delivered. And you can see I've got 2.8 gig from Microsoft, which is probably this build, which well, in fact that's what it is. And I've not done any other um, any other uploading or downloading of builds. And if we go to advanced, you've got things like uh, throttle control and things like that through the um, how much bandwidth it can use. That was introduced in the in the previous build. Um, there's other minor changes, you, things like you can't pin a, uh, a web page to the taskbar if you're in a private session, um, which makes sense. There's some issues fixed with uh, Windows Defender, battery status wasn't being updated and now uh, is being updated. Um, the fixed issue with the Surface Dial, uh, the fixed issue recovering PCs, recovering your PC and some issues with storage spaces as well. There are a few known issues. Um, you may have issues with Gmail, Yahoo and AOL uh, if you're using IMAP with the Mail app. I actually had problems on the previous build with that, not sending email, so that probably is, the, is that issue. And uh, there's, issue, there's some issues with DPI scaling and so on. So uh, check the release notes on digitallifestyle.com for that. And uh, you can go back on our YouTube videos, our YouTube channel, and look back all the Windows 10 builds right to the very first one. So have a look at that. Uh, but that's it for this build. It's all about bug fixes, getting ready for the fall creators update. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.